and welcome to Ball and Craig Estate. My name is Eddie and this is my vlog and today is August the 15th. It is a lovely sunny day and as a result, as you probably see at the far end of the farmyard there, we are doing the harvest today. It is my favourite day of the year. I'm, I'm really stoked for this. I love getting in the combine. Our lovely little TX34 here. Uh, it's part of the reason why I'm thinking of expanding the farm uh, come winter and seeing what we can uh, buy and uh, and expand the arable side of things. But first, let's get in our TX34. We need to get this year's harvest out of the way. Yeah, still got my eyes uh, on the various bits of land that are available and still thinking about how the best way to expand the farm is and possibly to, to reorganize things and, and maybe change up which fields are doing what. Uh, but as you see, we got the little Massey up here already dealing with the trailer and dealing with the header. So we're just going to hook up to this. Slowly onto it. Don't want to bash anything. So we're going to create straw from this. There we go. And that's connected up. Perfect. Right. We'll leave this here for the moment. And we've just got to get the massy out of the way. Because otherwise we won't be able to move forward. I might have to back the combine off, I think. By the looks of things. We're a bit stuck. There we go. I've got to be careful because we've got the gate here that will stop me. That'll do it. There we go. Get the header trailer out of the way into this field here. It was fun getting the header trailer into here, actually. So we're not going to get the uh, the tractor uh, with the trailer on until we are uh, in position. Uh, well, until we finish the field, pretty much. The, the entire tank should fit in this. So let's... Oh, I haven't attached the PTO. There we go. You yeah, I've forgotten something. There we are. There we go. Away we go. Perfect. So not a massive header on this. I just want to, before we go any further, check that we are putting the straw at the back. We are. Excellent. Oh, and we, we need to get that in before we go any further. Yeah, there we are. What we did was we had our... Um, rather than picking our header up, we pulled up our... Um, pulled out our auger which we didn't want to do really and a good amount of this which is fantastic it's nicely right and uh, and yeah looking at it we're gonna get we should get a good amount off and this is this is where we'll make a load of money which is why I'm interested in uh, doing the um, doing more arable we have the space to do it. And we need to add the extra straw in. There we go. Harvesting very nicely now. So we're going to do uh, probably three headlands, I think. And then we'll cut into the main body of the field. Not got the biggest header on this, but it is moving quite fast and uh, quite nicely so and we will do the whole field today 
Get it done and dusted. That's 25% full. Wow, I'm surprised. So that's about... So about two headlands is actually going to fill our uh, grain tank. So that's amazing. We are... I'm going to need the tractor and trailer quicker than I thought I was. Wow. That's actually quite something. Right, there we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to the corner down here. And jump out so that I can close the gate. I'll jump over. There we go. We're going to have to open it again. In a minute. Because we're going to have to let the tractor and trailer through. But let's get... So we're not 50% full yet. But we are getting a nice big yield off this. Fantastic yield. I did not expect us to get as much wheat off here as we're getting at the moment. Which is absolutely awesome. And we may get all the headlands done before we have a full grain tank. How are we doing? Ah, we're not doing too badly. Of course, a good yield of wheat means a good yield of straw as well. Which we very, very much want. There we go. Back in again. Yeah, this is this is uh, very nice. We got we're we're into the um, tram lines in the headland at the moment though, so that will reduce our yield a bit. Especially as sometimes they tend to destroy a little bit more of the crop than uh, I would have liked. Uh, doing well though. There we go. We are 50% full at this point. Which surprised me. Oh, it means, yeah, it's because we are on the tram lines. We are getting a lot lower yield as a result of that. Otherwise, we would have uh, we would have hit half a full tank a while ago. We might fit a full tank, though. Uh, by the time we do the headland, I think we'll probably want to empty at that point. So I will go and get the tractor and trailer at that point. There we go. Yeah, because we are we are missing a fair amount. Right. And away we go again. Perfect. Yeah, I'm. It's good that it's nice and sunny today. I've I've been fearing the next few weeks because the next few weeks are looking very wet. So we're uh, yeah, we're gonna try and get as much silage and and hay and stuff like that done as we can. And and we're probably gonna look at doing the field expansion over the next few weeks, the farm expansion over the next few weeks. If we can get. If we, if we can buy fields in the autumn, then what we'll be looking at is doing uh, a whole load of uh, switching around. I think this field we might switch to grass. Uh, it's a good. It's actually a good shaped field for a meadow. So uh, yeah, look at doing that. Nice piece of kit we have got on this is an auto cutoff. 
So if the grain tank looks like it's going to overfill, we're at 75% at this point, uh, then what it'll do is it'll cut the uh, it'll cut the machine off. Just need to be careful that we then don't run into the crop because unfortunately it doesn't stop us going forwards. But it, it does stop the uh, grain tank getting overloaded. Nice safety feature on the combine. There we go. Yeah, we won't need more than three headlands. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get... When we get to the end here, I'm going to go and get the tractor and trailer. go open the gate again yeah we're nicely full here we are t-dub what else would i use for this job and we'll see if we've got enough headland space to turn around We should have. There's quite a wide amount of it here. There's not enough of it to turn on the gate there. There we go. So we're going to go and sell this directly. So that's, that is the plan for this is that we will be selling it all directly rather than storing any of it. We don't really have any uh, storage facilities on the farm. There we are. And out with the arm. There we go. Wait. There we are. Fantastic. I'll get back in before it sorts itself out. Ah, oh, it's really quite tight through that. Right. How are we doing? Oh, we're almost done. In fact, I think we are. There we go. So, give that a shake. And then we'll move forward and we'll get the T-dub out of the way. Because we're going to go up the field there. I'll just put this over here now. There we go. And back. So that is basically how we do it. Just me. We'll have to uh, travel and uh, empty the combine each time. Now, we're going to head up this tram line here. Like so. And this, this is what makes it really easy to cut in, is just following a tram line. You do that and you basically keep going nice and straight and following the, uh, the way the field is set up and the way the field is done perfectly. Absolutely great way to do it. This is, as I said, this is not a big field. I am hoping for a nice amount of straw off here. We have had, we are getting much, much more wheat than I expected. I expected, uh, yeah, 
I expected a much lower yield than we're getting. We'll easily fit it all in the trailer, but uh, yeah, I was expecting a much lower yield. Of course, having said we'll fit it all in the trailer, I bet now the yield is actually bigger than I think. Because we do have a sizable bit of field to go, actually. It's very nice. Very cool. It's it is producing and it is doing a a lot better than I expected. I really didn't expect this kind of yield off it. It's a good year. This is this is the best yield I've ever had off this field. Cracking yield. I don't want to. Do, I, I think. Yeah, I think next year we need to do more of this. Need to do more arable. The animals are great, and the uh, cows do bring in a lot of money. But uh, with the volatility of uh, milk prices and, uh, and silage bales actually not being worth as much as they used to. I think expansion on the farm will be a good plan. I think we'll, I think what would be a great idea as well is to get this, uh, this combine overhauled. Have a full overhaul of the combine and, uh, and see how we do. Get our get our new field layout sorted in the autumn, and then any changes we have to make, such as uh, taking out any um, fences or anything like that, we can do come come winter, and that will keep us busy for most of the winter. I think we might add a couple of roads into the farm as well, make it easier to get from the main yard to a couple of places. Mainly on this side of, uh, of the farm. We could do the road up the hedge there. Which is another good reason for making this a, uh, a grass field. And that a road up the side won't cut into it too much. Whereas uh, as an arable field as it is now, it, will, um, it could damage it a bit. And damage our uh, output from it. Plus, I think field nine is bigger, just the other side of the hedge here. Right. How are we doing for fullness? Or for how full we are? Okay. Down the tram line. Ah, oh, we're half full. That's good, we'll fit the rest of this in the tank then. That's brilliant. Really, really good. There we go. But yeah, next time is gonna be bailing this field. We'll need to we need to bail this up as soon as possible. Preferably before the rain sets in. Well, definitely before the rain sets in. Uh, wet straw is no good to us at all. And then uh, after that, uh, we're going to have to collect all these bales up. So that is kind of what the plan is for the next few weeks. On and off. The other thing, of course, we'll, we're going to sell um, some of our animals uh, in the next few weeks as well. 
prices go quite well at uh, at the end of the year once we've um, fattened some of our uh, calves up and some of our uh, our lambs. We never sell that many off. Uh, which is why we only have a small animal trailer. But we do sell enough to, uh, to sort of help the farm along. Because they do go for a good price. There we go. Not quite a full width, although we will do. Yeah, here. So this is a small patch at the back. Or at the top end. Okay, we're a long way from full at the moment. I keep catching the lights when I go to lift my head up. There we go. Right, and the last little bit, and then we just need to empty out. So I'd say we've probably got about a, uh, I think that's likely to have been about a tank and a half of this. So yeah, we can we can afford to um, to expand the farm a bit. I think. trailer but make sure we're in the right place to empty yeah perfect there we go just empty out watch as it goes down and once it's done we will uh, just shake out the end of the uh, auger there we are. Oop. Give it a shake. Right. Oh, no. I want to fold it in. There we are. In it goes. And there we are. Perfect. So we'll leave the combine here for a moment. While we head out to sell this off. So let's just have a look at how much we have in our trailer. Oh, we got a decent amount in here. Yeah, that's that is going to bring us in a nice amount of cash. A very nice amount of cash. And away we go. Absolutely perfect. I'm I'm really pleased with how that's gone. That's gone really, really well. A nice big uh, a nice big yield off the field and um, yeah. It's looking good. Make sure my beacons are on. Wow. T-Dub is struggling up the hill a little bit. But then we do have... I, th I think we've got probably about four-fifths of a trailer full here. Which would, e which would be about right for my estimate of a tank and a half of combine. I think if we'd emptied at 75% full, uh, we would have hit 75% full again. Now that's a, that's that is another yard of ours, which I I'd completely forgotten about, and it actually has a load of seed in it. So we might have to bring that back to the main farm, or maybe use that a little bit as a satellite yard, depending on how we expand the farm. But certainly, yeah, there is a 
there's an area there that we could very easily use. Oh, up the hill, come on. There we go. There's also an exit out of... I uh, know, oh that's, that's another field across. Here we are. So I open up the gates. There we go. Right. I will turn around and reverse up onto that. It's it's not the easiest one to uh, to do. Uh, driving through, it's very tight at the other side. It was built. It was built in the times when we were using. We had much smaller tractors around here. myself there we go there we are so that will bring us a nice bit of cash in uh, we will check on that. I'll check on that later All right and back to the farmyard which will be perfect because that will be the perfect place to end is when we get this back I'm really happy with that harvest that harvest has gone really well and I'm really pleased with it um, I will be very very interested to see how much they give us for that uh, it should be a decent amount of money uh, where it was a decent load in that so uh, yeah but all in all that was good uh, we will be bailing up that straw next time. Uh, and then uh, after that, we are going to be collecting up all the bales. So we got... Well, we'll be collecting up the hay and the straw bales first. Because they will be the ones most affected by the rain. And I need to get them up. Uh, and then I have some decisions to make. As to how I'm going to, uh, to move forward, I think. Uh, I think it's I think it's worth looking at the farm and going, okay, I have this much money this year. How can we expand and make more next year? Oh, up the hill. There we go. Brilliant. But I will get cleaned up around here. We can go from there. Oh, I think I took that corner a bit. Yeah. Everything is so tight. Yeah, these are definitely going to go. We have no use for those feeding um, feeding bits anymore. And they are just, as you can see, they're making it really hard for me to get back into the yard. I'm getting... What am I getting stuck on? I'm getting stuck on the actual tower. There we go. can almost hear that right there we are yeah I think I think that feeding tower there can go and the one can go in front of the, the sheep we don't use those anymore and they are they are just scrap metal and to be honest we could do the money from the scrap metal so uh, yeah that would be very very useful Right, put that back in there. That's good. And, uh, and that's where I'm going to leave it. So uh, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this vlog. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for the latest videos from the farm, please subscribe to the channel. And 
I will see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>